Welcome back to Open Everyone. I'm Rina Valentin, your host of Café Con Leche for the next hour. Always inviting you to get social with us online. That is, uh, tweet us and follow us on Instagram at BronxNet TV or like us on Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. And of course, don't forget, while you're there, follow moi on Twitter, FB, Instagram, Insta Stories, LinkedIn, and Snapchat at Rina Valentin. So, hold on. Hmm. That's a newly released music-driven drama film that tells the story of an aspiring singer fighting to keep her dreams alive while trying to save her brother from a life of addiction. Let's take a sneak peek of Hold On. I wish that I could write a song. I wish that I had the words. I wish that I... Hey, next, next, next. I mean, great voice, but I mean, who wants to listen to a song about writing a song? When I started here, I told you I came here to sing. I'm just going to need you to focus a little bit. I have a huge audition coming up. Just not getting any younger, and I feel like this might be my last shot. Number 945. It's about more than just the voice. <laughs> You got some mad pipes, girl. You have no idea what you're doing, which is why you need me. Well, you said you're a songwriter too, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna find your first single right now. I've been recording some stuff with this girl from this church, and she's actually really good. But you, you got a lot going on inside of you that you're bottling up. Destruction of private property, threatening your boss. I mean, come on, man. You remind me a lot of Taj. I mean, the real Taj, the kid I grew up with. It's your sister, it's Sydney. Why are you doing this to our family? I just pray that one day I could have him back even for a moment. I want you to know you're gonna be okay, believe. And joining us to tell us more about the film, Hold On, please welcome producer, Semi Guzman. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome, Semi. I'm so excited. We're excited for you. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, look at you, a producer <laughs> extraordinaire. A little bit, a little bit. That's awesome. And you got to work with your dad in the process. Which is fantastic. It's great because, to be honest, he wasn't my first choice. <laughs> he wasn't my first choice. What? I left the script on the table. <laughs> he took a look at it, he goes, you know I'm in this movie. And I go, uh, okay, sure. <laughs> you weren't my first choice, so it's great when I get to hire my dad. So That's awesome. awesome you get to hire your dad. Yeah, 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 oh my yeah. gosh, he wasn't your first choice. <laughs> Why, is it challenging <laughs> no, to work with family? No, he's great, he's great, I love him. I was just kidding. I yeah, no, of course you yeah, are, yeah, right? Yeah. I know, you can tell that you guys have a wonderful, respectful, and, and loving relationship. But um, how was that, uh, reversing the roles? <laughs> I think it was fantastic. It wasn't so hard, to be honest. It was and acceptance and he always has been ready to pass the torch and I think this was one of those experiences and he still stayed on set when he wasn't shooting and he'd come and give me pointers and then when he was shooting I would come and give him pointers. So I think uh, we've always had that dance. That's lovely. You know yeah. what I've always found fascinating about you, Simi? Mm -hmm. That while you've been in the presence of all these famous and big time people mm -hmm. being Luis Guzman's son, uh, I always wondered why you didn't choose the acting role as opposed to the producer role. <laughs> I like being behind the camera. I know, but yeah. it, it, you would think, okay, it's tan chulo. No, 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 no. I'm in, secretly inside, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. Well, I'm secretly, I think you have control. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. All right, and also, I do want to share a little bit about you being a visual artist. I know we're here to talk about the movie, yeah. but I think it's important for everyone to understand that, like, when you're in this field, you, yeah. you kind of dabble in different what? areas. Yeah. And, and I know as a visual artist, you, the pieces that you make are like oversized. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. take you months to make. Absolutely, yeah. A lot of the pieces are about like nine feet, eight feet large, and wow. they could take five to six months. And sometimes you're just in that headspace where you need to get it out, and it could take six days. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, is that your form of therapy? Yeah, it's a form of therapy. It's another way of expressing myself. You know, um, I have a couple ideas for jewelry. I have a couple ideas for uh, clothes. So it's just another way of expressing myself. And so in exercising that form of expressing yourself, Absolutely. how does that serve in deciding what films you're gonna produce? Interesting. Um, I keep them separate. I keep them separate in regards to the art, but if I'm choosing a, a, a script to look at and picking a project, 
it starts with the script, it starts with the people, because you, if you're gonna spend the next six months to three years with somebody, you wanna make sure you're close with them. And so that process is, is, a, is a long and grueling one to pick a script and to pick a story, but once you get it, it doesn't feel like work, and you could go three years working with a crew that, that you love. So in this particular film, I found it interesting also that you cast Flavor Flav. Yeah, absolutely. As a, a, what was he, a parole <laughs> a officer? A parole officer, And yeah. I'm like, nobody would think, but it makes sense though, right? Because there's this uh, reality and just like rawness and authenticity absolutely. in having to deal with that aspect Abs of life. I mean, anytime he was on set, you can feel what he says. You can feel that he had been through those experiences and he's trying to help a young, lost soul. And uh, working with Flav was fantastic. It was actually my buddy Tarek Tomei, who's the writer, director, producer of the film. He's always been close with Flav. And so it just made sense. And Louis never played a pastor before. So I think moving forward with all movies, we wanna, we wanna push the boundaries. We want to do something new and do the unexpected. I like that. I like the non-typecasting aspect of it. And and the lead, right? I love that she's a full-figured woman. She's fantastic. She's amazing. She has a beautiful voice. She's beautiful inside and out. And that's Michaela, uh, Michaela de Etet. And she actually wrote all the music. She was the one that orchestrated all the music. And uh, she's incredible. She well, really I understand is. that this uh, story is kind of relatable to her in real life. Absolutely. It's uh, loosely based on her story. Uh, we made some changes, but it's very much her story. So when people go into the theaters, uh, what, what should they expect to experience? They should expect to feel as if they're at a concert. We made sure we had two composers with us on set at all times to make sure, and the small details, to make sure that you feel like you're there and you're listening to her. Nothing was ever lip sync. Everything was done live. Oh, wow. So you shot it we shot with it. her singing absolutely, live. Absolutely, absolutely. That is so, that that right there is an experience, right? Absolutely, because so how many special. Times did, how many takes did she have to do? Ay, yeah, yeah. Because it was her story, she gave it her all. And you could tell, like, you know, after a certain point, it's emotionally draining because it is your story. And she was professional, a champion to keep doing that over and over for us till we got the right shot. So she's incredible. That's awesome. She and I is. know this film was just recently released, so yeah. there's plenty of time for people to go see it. Absolutely. And uh, where is the screening and how can people find out more about it? Well, you could go check it out on holdon.com um, and uh, follow us on Instagram. We have theaters all over the country and uh, we'll do a second release of theaters uh, after the second week. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. On everything. Thank you. I'm and thank excited. you for being here on my birthday special. I love it. Happy birthday, Yay! my love. I love it. I love it. <laughs> should we thank tell you. everybody you're my daughter's godbrother? <laughs> yes, we should. Absolutely. There you go. Está en familia. Family. Mwah. I love you. I love you too. All right, you guys, once again, Hold On is currently in theaters. To find the nearest theater uh, near you, you can visit holdonthemovie.com. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll sit down with a legendary Bronx photographer who's captured decades of our urban culture one shot at a time. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 